Celebrity gossip blogs and tabloids are never not filled with stories of who got work done. But um, spoiler alert, they've all had work done. All of them. A cosmetic pick-me-up that's damn near universal at this point is Botox Injections. It's the most popular non-surgical cosmetic treatment in America, among both stars and normies, with over 6 million Botox treatments administered each year. Why is Botox so popular, and how does it work anyway? Before we get really deep into this stuff, there's an important piece of info you should know about. Hit them with that registered treatment. Trademark. Botox is the brand name of the ingredient that is injected into the body to alleviate cosmetic or medical issues. That ingredient's generic name is Clostridium botulinum, and it's actually a toxin that gives you botulism, a deadly illness that's usually associated with food poisoning. Okay, we know you probably want to start barfing at the thought of putting a toxic substance all up in your mug, but have faith that science wouldn't allow this to happen unless it was safe. Clostridium botulinum is in fact a super common organism. If you've gone for a romp in a lake, forest, or garden recently, chances are you've had one-on-one -on -one contact with it and nothing terrible happened because it's usually in a dormant state. It's only when the organism starts getting active and becomes a vegetative cell that it starts multiplying and pumping out the dangerous toxin that, when ingested, could leave you paralyzed or I'm not telling you all this to scare you, but it's wise to know what exactly is being injected into your face, you know? Once the Clostridium botulinum is diluted with saline, it becomes Botox, or Dyspor, or Bocator, or Myoblock, which are basically slight variations of the same ingredient. For sanity's sake, we're just gonna call it Botox from here on out. Doctors can then inject this concoction with a fine needle to treat forehead lines, frown lines, crow's feet, bunny lines, skin bands on the neck, and downturned corners around the mouth. But Botox's powers aren't limited to just your visage. When this stuff was being tested back in the 80s, it was originally used to stop uncontrolled blinking and lazy eyes. And today you might have even seen pharmaceutical commercials touting Botox as a way to deal with excessive sweating, migraines, and even some bladder and bowel disorders. One misconception we should clear up right this very second is that Botox is not a type of filler. You know, the stuff you shoot into your lips to make them plump as a water balloon. The way Botox works is by stopping the communication between your muscles and nerves. Typically, your nerves will talk to your muscles by sending out neurotransmitters which attach to the muscles and tell them to contract or shorten. Think of it this way, when you DM your bestie with a hilarious GIF, and I know it's GIF, don't at me, that GIF will make them LOL all over themselves, right? But if the GIF never reaches your bestie because you don't have any internet service or whatever, there's nothing for them to LOL about, so they just do nothing instead. That's what's happening, or I guess not happening, when Botox is injected. With nothing to elicit a reaction, your muscles become paralyzed and therefore they stop contracting in ways that produce wrinkles. You'll have to come back to your doc for touch-ups, but because repeated injections will start to shrink the muscles, your lines and wrinkles will also become less noticeable over time. This also means you won't be able to like raise your eyebrows after a while because your forehead muscles are atrophied. But who needs to express feelings of shock and surprise anyway? This brings us to the topic of prevention. Yes, it's true that if you start getting low-dose treatments in your 20s, you will likely need less Botox when you're in your 50s. However, getting too much Botox too soon could leave your muscles hella weak and flat, which could lead to thinner, looser skin, or worse, the need for even more Botox in order to fix the wrinkles caused by the surrounding muscles needing to pick up the slack for the weak ones. The bottom line is that Botox is here, it's clear, get used to it. No one should pass judgment on those who get it for wrinkle prevention or for sweating too much or anything in between. So, if you see someone with fresh Botox, don't act surprised. I know they surely won't.